Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like, subscribe, and share with your fellow denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips via the Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I thank you. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded currency exchange planner in the description of this video, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Denar community. Created by a Denarian, for Denarians, to ensure your exchange goes smoothly and for mapping out all your future financial goals and assets, including the Iraqi Dinar, Vietnamese Dong, Iranian Rattle and of course gold and silver my favorites. When you decide you want to unleash the full power of the planner, they use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off along with the newly upgraded version 8 mobile application added free for my subscribers for a limited time. A preview of both the mobile application and the desktop planner is made available on the website for your convenience. I assure you, once you see the planner in action, you will know why it is the number one planner in Dinarland. Lock in your copy, the link is in the description. I am also recommending that you register as an affiliate with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program designed to save gold in your choice from a gram up to any amount you would like. They place each fully certified gram of gold on a credit card style placard for easy storage and send it directly to your door via FedEx. It makes saving physical gold easy and affordable for everyone, one gram at a time. Are you prepared if the coronavirus takes out the markets and the world economy collapses? Is your savings protected in a tangible asset like gold? It is free to register and get yourself all set up for both pre and post exchange gold saving. Both the links to these invaluable programs are in the description box below. Always remember, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful. First article of interest for today, legal expert, a law we assigned a constitutional. This is the essence of his work. The legal expert, hash ml shema -a clarified the constitutional position regarding the appointment of Muhammad Tafiq Alawi to the position of Prime Minister. al Shema said for Furat News that Alawi was constitutionally mandated under Article 76 1st of 2005 of the Iraqi Constitution by the President of the Republic, Baram Sali. The legal expert suggested, prior preparation of the government program and ministerial formation by Alawi before his assignment was announced, and he has 30 days to present his ministerial formation to the parliament to give her confidence. He added, the prime minister designate is obligated to the parliament and the Iraqi people regarding the independent ministerial formation, which is far from political pressures, according to him, and otherwise he must withdraw. al Shema added, the formation of the previous government was consensual, and now according to Alawi's pledge, it will be different and complete in the coming stage. And, Alawi has been assigned the most difficult stages of Iraq, either to take him to safety or to chaos and the abyss. The legal expert concluded his speech by saying, The essence of the Prime Minister's task in preparing for early elections and going to dissolve Parliament according to Article 64 of the Iraqi Constitution will be either at his request to submit to the President of the Republic or to dissolve himself by an absolute majority. The President of the Republic, Baram Sali, announced that Muhammad Tafiq Alawi had been assigned to succeed the Prime Minister, to succeed resigned Adel Abdul Mahdi after the political forces agreed to his candidacy by the end of the deadline set for the resolution of the candidate last Saturday. A law we address the Iraqi people on the occasion of assigning him to the post, pledging to work diligently to hold early elections and hand over the corrupt to the judiciary, as he pledged to commit to providing job opportunities for citizens, fighting corruption and dissolving economic committees, forming a government away from sectarian quotas and representing all spectra and involving the competent in forming the government and rejecting the candidates of power as political. A law we also pledge to work diligently to hold early elections, protect the electoral process, address everything that might affect its transparency, 
and form an advisory team in the Prime Minister's office, while calling for an immediate dialogue with the demonstrators to achieve their demands and oversee by me this dialogue. A law we indicated in his message to the Iraqi people that he will work to hand over every corrupt to the judiciary, and he will reject any pressure and that he will allow the people to be exposed to it, while the blood of the martyrs from the demonstrators and the security forces will not go in vain and the responsible will be held accountable. Next article of interest. Deputy. A law we finished his consultations with the blocs on forming his cabinet. The deputy of Al Nasser coalition, Youssef Al Khalabi, revealed, on Monday, the completion of the designation of Prime Minister designate Mohammed Tafiq Alawi regarding the formation of his cabinet. In a televised statement, followed by Al Akbaria, Al Khalabi said, the Prime Minister designate Mohammed Tafiq Alawi ended shortly before his consultations with the blocs regarding the formation of his cabinet. He added, we are not against the presence of the representation of the components and not of the parties in the cabinet, noting that, we assured Alawi of the need not to heed pressure. And al Kalabi continued, Alawi stressed that he is looking for ministers who enjoy patriotism and competence and realize the seriousness of the stage. Next article of interest. Alawi assures the United Nations of his keenness to implement the demands of the demonstrators and the formation of a competent government. The appointed Prime Minister, Mohammed Tafiq Alawi, represented the Secretary General of the United Nations in Iraq, Janine Blaskart. According to the statement of the Prime Minister, who received al News a copy of it, Blaskart congratulated Alawi on the occasion of assigning him the task of forming the new cabinet and pledged to provide the UN mission with full support for the prospective government, to serve the future of Iraq and the aspirations of all its sons. For his part, Allah we stressed, his keenness to implement the demands of the demonstrators and the formation of a government of competencies capable of managing the country in this sensitive circumstance and preparing for fair elections that meet the aspirations of all Iraqis. Next article of interest. Alabadi discusses with Black Sharp preparations for the early elections and refuses to use repression against the demonstrators. On Monday, the leader of the Victory Coalition, Haider Alabadi, discussed with the head of the United Nations mission in Iraq, Janine Hens Black Sharp, preparations for the early elections and refused to use repression against the demonstrators. Alabadi's office said in a statement that the latter received Blaskart, and during the meeting, they discuss the latest developments in the political and security situation, the demands of the demonstrators, and condemned the use of repression in resolving the protests. He added, the meeting also witnessed a detailed review of preparations for early elections and international supervision over them, and the importance of completing legislative and executive measures. Next article of interest. Central bank digital currencies sweeping the globe. If you can't beat them join them. That's what central banks are doing to evade being redundant in a digital currency-led world. Some central banks are in the final stages of launching digital currencies, including China's digital yuan and Russia's e-ruble. IMF supports fiat-backed cryptocurrencies, stable coins, saying they can reduce the reliance on government-issued money. The digital yuan could be used in trade and infrastructure deals along China's Belt and Road Initiative. Central banks across the world have taken a decision to acknowledge that cryptocurrencies are not going away and that their prized holding of fiat will eventually have no place in society. Cash money is on its way out. Digital dollar. J. Christopher Giancarlo, the former chair of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFDC and so-called crypto dad announced plans for a formal exploration of a United States central bank digital currency, CBDC. He has partnered with Accenture to create the non-profit digital dollar project, which plans to explore the creation of a U.S. central bank digital currency, CBDC. The digital 21st century is underserved by an analog reserve currency, said Chris Giancarlo, adding. A digital dollar would help future-proof the greenback and allow individuals and global enterprises to make payments in dollars irrespective of space and time.
Chris Giancarlo pointed out Accenture central bank projects that have included the Bank of Canada, the Monetary Authority of Singapore, European Central Bank, and most recently efforts by Sweden's Riksbank, the world's first central bank, to develop an e-krona in a test environment. Some central banks are in the final stages of launching digital currencies, including China's digital yuan and Russia's e-ruble. The race to integrate crypto into global banking is real as public sector projects are already driving interest in fiat-backed cryptocurrencies by central and regional banks. The US dollar is the world's reserve currency because it represents about 58% of all foreign exchange reserves in the world, according to the International Monetary Fund, IMF. Additionally, 40% of the world's debt is denominated in dollars. Some experts believe the US dollar could fall behind as the de facto e-commerce currency if other nations launch state-sponsored stablecoin first. In a blog post, the IMF said recently today's fiat currencies are in flux and innovation will transform the landscape of banking and money. Among other banking entities, the IMF has shown support for fiat-backed cryptocurrencies, stable coins, saying they can reduce the reliance on government-issued money, and unlike bank transfers, crypto asset transactions can be cleared and settled quickly without an intermediary, Dong He, deputy director of the IMF's Monetary and Capital Markets Department, wrote in a post for the agency. Facebook's Libra is also a stable coin, but in comparison to central bank-issued digital currencies, Libra is a commercially driven private project and not central bank-controlled. Other efforts are cryptos in the form of tokens that could be asset-based or utility-based. Worthy of mentioning is JP Morgan Chase's plan JPM coin. Regional adoption of CBDC. The recent World Economic Forum in Davos announced that in past six months have been a wake-up call for some central bank policymakers where CBDC has risen to prominence as a potential solution to multiple challenges such as financial inclusion and payment system efficiency. The World Economic Forum gathered insights from central bank researchers, global policymakers, international organizations and experts from over 40 institutions to create the first CBDC policymaker toolkit. Any central bank digital currency implementation, including potentially with blockchain technology, will have a profound impact domestically and internationally, said Sheila Warren, head of blockchain and distributed ledger technology at the World Economic Forum. The CBDC Policymaker Toolkit provides high-level guidance and information for retail, wholesale, cross-border and private sector-issued hybrid CBDC as well as for large, small, emerging and developed countries. It also evaluates the role of distributed ledger technology within CBDC implementation and highlights important governance, user data privacy, financial inclusion and security issues. We will pilot the new toolkit developed by the World Economic Forum, said Mr. Almaraj, Governor, Central Bank of Bahrain. We hope that it will be an opportunity to learn, grow and to adapt to the changes in the fourth industrial revolution. A currency revolution coming. It's unclear what form a central bank-issued digital currency could take. It could be built on blockchain-like architecture but it doesn't necessarily need to be. The promise of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, is that it could make cross-border movement of money easier and improve traceability to fight corruption or money laundering, according to Henri Arslanian, global crypto leader at PwC. Some experts say that a digital yuan could help China's currency internationalize and challenge the dominance of the US dollar. The digital yuan could be used in trade and infrastructure deals along China's Belt and Road Initiative. China and the U.S. are not the only countries looking at issuing their own digital currencies. The central banks of Britain, Japan, the Eurozone, Sweden and Switzerland have grouped up with the Bank for International Settlements, BIS, to assess potential use cases for such currencies. Bigs have gained momentum recently as central banks look to innovate in the face of competition from China and Facebook's digital currency Libra, which has faced pushback from regulators worried about the potential risks of Libra to global financial stability. 
hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded currency exchange planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. This package will only be available for a limited time, so go for it, pick up yours today. With the currency exchange planner on your team, the banks don't have a chance of taking advantage of your newfound wealth. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always turn gold back into any kind of fiat money you want or need later. The gold will always be in your possession not the banks who do not care about your well-being. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad, the dollar I assure you will not. Did you know that the dollar only has 0.0389 cents purchasing power left when compared to its original purchasing power when the dollar first came out? Fiat currencies are based on debt and are designed to fail over time. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, over and out, the Denarian.